It's true that probably most of what a majority of us will want to do or need to do as far as paragraph formatting can be done right from the ribbon. Remember, if we're on the Home tab, we have this entire paragraph group that includes things from alignment, line and paragraph spacing, increasing and decreasing the left indents, turning those non-printing characters on or off, and even doing things like adding borders and fills. There are some things, however, that we can't get to from the ribbon, and for that we might need a dialog box. The dialog box will be very familiar to those of you who have used prior versions of Word. Let's say, for example, that we know we can adjust indents and spacings from the ribbon, as we just said. But we have specific style guidelines that tell us exactly what these settings need to be. One option that we do have is to continue to use the ribbon instead of having to open additional windows, and that is from the Page Layout tab. Now, it's not very often that we have kind of redundancy in the ribbon, but on occasion we do, and this is one of those places. You'll notice that there's also a paragraph group here. However, it's a little bit more detailed and has a few different options than the one from the Home tab. In this case, we could specifically set our left and right indents. We also could set the spacing before and after the paragraph. We could do this without having to open a secondary dialog box. If we're still not seeing what we need, though, either from the Home tab or from the Page Layout tab, we can click the Dialog Box Launcher that's going to get us into the Paragraph Dialog Box. As I mentioned just a second ago, this is exactly the same box as those of you who have used prior versions of Office are used to when we used to go to Format Paragraph. But what exactly is here? Well, actually, a lot of things are here that we have faster, quicker, easier access to right from the ribbon. For example, we can do our horizontal alignment, left, center, right, and justified. We can also talk about outline levels. Now, we'll talk about outlines more in a later chapter, but basically this allows us to work with things like tables of contents. If we wanted to designate a particular paragraph as a certain level, we could do that here, and then we can use some of those auto-generating effects for things like a table of contents, which can be really, really useful. We also, of course, get to see the indent, left and right, but here we also have a drop-down for special. We talked about these when we worked with indents from the actual ruler, where we can have no indents, which would be a flush left. We also could work with first line, or we can work with hanging. If we do either one of these, then of course we have the option to set how much we want that intent to be by. For example, a half inch. One option that we haven't had in any of the places before is the ability to mirror indents. This is exactly like mirroring our margins. Instead of having left and right indents, when this box is checked, it instead turns to an inside and an outside indent. That, of course, would be used for some special formatting under certain circumstances. We'll go ahead and turn that off. We then get down to our paragraph spacing. Actually, there's a section here for paragraph spacing, which is on the left, and line spacing, which is on the right. Paragraph spacing is something that from the ribbon, we can only say add or remove it before or after. And we can see that when we let Word do that with an 11-point type, it created a 10-point space. And one of my recommendations from the old days is to do about half a space. So if this is 11-point type, we might choose to not make this 10-point, but instead make it 6-point. It makes it look a little bit more elegant, and it doesn't waste quite as much space, but it still gives us the visual that we're moving from one paragraph to the next. This is something that we can't do right from the ribbon. Likewise, we have line spacing options from the ribbon. We saw this before, single, one and a half, double, but we also have some other options here. For example, we can say, make the line spacing at least a certain amount, or exactly a certain amount. At least is just what it sounds like. So imagine that we had a paragraph, and maybe we had put some images inside of the text. What's going to happen is that Word will automatically make the spacing big enough to accommodate the content. Here, we could say, that's okay, but make it at least a certain level. On the other hand, within that paragraph, if we wanted all of it to be spaced completely evenly, even if there was different sizes of fonts and content, we could say, make it exactly. And that kind of takes that automatic calculation away from Word and lets us say exactly what we want that spacing to be. Multiple, of course, is what we have by default when we say things like 1 or 3 or 2.5. As we know, the default, usually with Word, is going to be 1.15. With all of these different types of boxes, of course, we can use the spinner buttons, the little up and down buttons on the right-hand side, or we're also able to type in. So I could simply type 1.15. Another feature that we have available from this advanced dialog box is the ability to not add space between paragraphs of the same. 
We haven't talked about styles yet. That's coming up in a later chapter. But just know that if a paragraph has the same style, we can say don't add extra space between those. But for example, between body text and a heading, that's where we want to have space. This is simply a checkbox that lets us designate not to add that space if they happen to be of the same style. As we've seen in a few other dialogues as well, at the very bottom, if we want any of these settings to be kept as the default, as part of the normal template, we can click the button that says Set as Default. So as you're able to see, many of these things are available from the ribbon and we're probably going to use them from there most of the time. But when we need to have a little bit of extra, when we need to have a little bit more control, we can always open the paragraph dialog box either from the Home tab or the Page Layout tab to find some of these extra settings.